San Diego Quality Stocks. Today is Wednesday, November 3rd, 2010. Today we're going to take a look at Tactical Air Defense Services. This is a NASDAQ bulletin board company trading on a ticker TADF. This chart just popped up in a scan for me and it caught my eye because it looks like it's at a pretty good support level. So I take a look at these lower indicators and see what they're telling us. It's had a nice uptrend right through here. Great chance for it to make a move. See it tried to make a pop, came right back down hard. It's out of position right now. It looks like it's at a make or break point, trying to establish a new downtrend in the MACD, same way with the PPO. The histogram looks like it's about ready to give us a bullish cross, about ready to pop back above zero with the histogram bars. Kind of the same way with this PPO. You can see that a little bit better. See it's starting to uptrend back towards zero. This is going to have to make that cross, going to have to hold this support level and make a cross and make a turn. This chart could turn kind of ugly if it can't hold the support. These are going to, this downtrend is going to become stronger. We might even see some separation away from the signal line with both of these indicators. ADX is kind of in a middle of the road position. You can see that that negative DI is tucked right behind the ADX right now. If it doesn't hold that support, we're going to see that negative DI show itself up and it's going to turn up and move up into this area. And it's going to be, like I say, it's not going to be the prettiest chart in the world if it can't hold that support and we start to see these things break to the north side. MFI, we got a huge just rocket down. This is attributed to this big red candle from that day. See, the 7 goes right basically when it happens. The 14 is based on the periods before. So it's just now making its break down. The 21 is going to have part of that breakdown as well. Although it'll be smoothed out a little bit more because it'll factor in the other days. But it will see a drop here in the near future. So we can't put a whole lot of weight into the MFI at this point either. I think this is really going to come down to a candle play with it holding that support level or not. Accumulation distribution, you can kind of see it was in that flat line mode until that sell off that one day. Made a big drop. Now it's kind of back into a flat line. It's going to have to hold these areas and again start to make a roll up to the north side. Same with check and money flow. Of course, it's based on the accumulation distribution. It's weighted a little bit differently. Back into a flat line. Nice uptrend it had right through there. That chart had a great chance to make a strong move that day. It gapped up, but not holding it really kind of hurt the chart. So now it's checking money flows back in a flat line. We're going to have to see this start to climb and make its way north. CCI and full still are given some hints that's possibly going to try and make a move. Again, don't put too much stock into this full still being down here and oversold coming off the bottom because it can trend down here in the oversold area for a long time. What we need to see is this little uptrend try and continue, make a break through 20, show some momentum coming into the stock. As far as the CCI, it just broke through negative 100. Really needs to hold over that. If this turns down and breaks back down through negative 100, it's probably not holding that support level. And like I say, the chart's going to get a little bit ugly. The tricks looks like it's kind of in a channel. See right through there, pretty parallel lines. You can see at this two right through here, these lines are almost identical. It's going to need to make its roll and turn, break through that signal line, and break back up through zero here in the near future. If it does, uh, this will have a pretty nice look to it, maintaining that channel, maintaining the uptrend. Pretty important that the tricks does that. So it's going to have to make its turn pretty quickly, and start to make the roll off this bottom line of the trend line. RSIs. Those follow our charts know we talk about the idea of getting through 50. It's important. Difficult for them to make their way through it all through here. The one spike up on this gap up day. Of course, came shooting right back down. All three pinned together right now, right around 45 area. So they're in a nice position to make the move. Again, this is kind of make or break time for TADF. It's going to have to make its way through 50 and make a strong move. This is what really I wanted to look at. See right through this area? Resistance through there. Holding it as a support level again, you see it hit a bottom of 0039, right through here, 004. So this area should be pretty good support for it. It's kind of starting to roll and flatten out. What I want to see if this chart does is makes a roll back this way and gives it a nice rounded bottom look to it. 50 day moving average is right there, 00482. Uh, that's about you know, 15, 20% away, so it's nice gains just to even get to the 50 day. 200 is still in pretty close proximity. That's what this chart can turn very bullish very easily if it rolls off this bottom and makes a move up this direction. Because certainly charts are trading over the 50, and if it makes it over the 200 day, is a very bullish chart. Long term, we'd look for this to try and make a break through this area, through this 007, certainly through 0073 to make a new higher high. But I always use that term baby steps. It has to start by holding this support. And then challenging this first resistance is going to meet right through this 005 area. Again, pretty nice gains, about 20% to get there, but it's going to run into the 50 day moving average. And there was some support through here. This data stamp right there kind of messes it up. There's a little bit of resistance right through this 0046. Again, a little bit of support right here, right through that 005. 
So this area is going to be an area of resistance for it. The PPS resistance coupled with the 50-day moving average is going to be a little bit tough on it. But if it's going to play out these indicators and continue the uptrend and squash this downtrend that's trying to start, it's going to have to roll off of it and go challenge that. Now, if it doesn't hold this support and it breaks down, I might put an eyeball on it right through this area to see if it can hold this. But we're getting pretty far, and if it doesn't hold with some serious strength right in through there, this chart will probably get thrown right off the streamer, won't pay much attention to it, because there's a good chance it's going to come down here and try and make a new lower low and put together some sort of long-term downtrend right through here. So this chart really begins and ends for me with it holding this support level. If it can, it's got a great chance of turning bullish. If it can't, it's got an even better chance of turning real bearish. So these are the things that I'll be looking for in TADF. As always, this is merely my interpretation of the chart. This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Thank you for watching and trade smart. Thank you.